Hello everyone, in today's video, I want to show you how to flash firmware on 2T1000E. Without further ado, let's get started. First, go to the Mesh Testing website and click on Learn More. Here, we can explore the documentation for Mesh Testing. However, our focus today is on flashing the firmware. So click on Downloads at the top. Since the T1000E used the NIF52 chip, Navigate to the NIF52 flasher selection. Please note, Mesh Testing uses the LittleFS library to store configuration, logs, and other data in the internal flash of NIF52 and RP2040 devices. Updating the firmware does not erase this additional data, which can cause issue when the format and the location of data changes between releases. So, we need to perform a factory reset on the device before updating the firmware. Select your board, Seed Card Checker T1000E, and click the chest scan icon to the right of the flash button. This will open a dialog to begin the erase procedure. Enter DFU mode by connecting the T1000E to your computer using the 4-pin charging cable. Make sure the data cable is securely connected, as a loose connection can affect the firmware flashing process. Connect to the appropriate port, download the erase file, and copy the UF2 file to the DFU drive. Once the file transfer is complete, the drive should disappear. Then open the serial monitor to finish the erase process. OK, it's done. Now return the flasher. Here, you need to confirm that you will select the correct device and then choose the firmware version. Alpha is the continued updated test version, while stable is a version that has gone through testing and is considered stable. It's recommended to use the stable version, but the firmware I have on hand is already version 2.4.2 beta, so I'll select 2.5.2 alpha for the demonstration. Click Flash and continue. Enter DFU mode, connect to the appropriate port, download the UF2 file, and copy the UF2 file to the DFU drive. If you are using macOS, the automatically restart may cause issues like file transfer failures, write errors, or the device being ejected. But don't worry, the device has actually updated successfully. Just wait for the device to restart. Once the transfer is complete, the device will automatically restart and boot with a new firmware. If you find that the Bluetooth connection is not working, you can go to the Bluetooth list in your phone's settings and remove the corresponding Bluetooth name, then return to the Mesh Testing app to reconnect. Alright, the device has been successfully updated. The display on the Mesh Testing app shows version 2.5.2. That's the detailed process to updating the firmware.